Hello viewers, uh, welcome to the channel. This is Abhilash. Now today we will talk about uh, the preload of your shock absorbers. Okay, now that is an interesting topic. Most of the riders, especially in India, ignores this uh, preload or the suspension settings of a motorcycle. Most of the motorcycles, the rear shock absorbers comes with a shock absorber setting which you can change depending on the load that goes on the motorcycle. So let me quickly take you guys and let's see if your motorcycle is is uh, put on the right uh, you know payload on your shock absorbers if it needs to be adjusted or is it sitting on the right so you can test it out I'll show you how to test your uh, sag or the uh, payload uh, on your motorcycle so I'll show it to you on my uh, Avenger 220 cruise so first we need to take the measurement of uh, static sag which is basically uh, a measurement com combination of the bike put on a center stand wherein the wheel does not touch the ground there's no weight put on the vehicle we'll measure the uh, you know the distance between the shock absorber and the suspension and the frame and minus that with we take off the bike from the center stand put the bike just leave the bike as is without a load on it and we'll measure the measurement from the tire to the uh, from the shock absorbers end to the frame and then minus that with the uh, measurement that we took earlier so that will give us the static sag uh, measurement and then we require as a rider sag wherein a rider sits on top of the vehicle and then take the measurements so let me quickly show you how to take the measurements how do we adjust the preload of the motorcycle of the rear suspension the front suspension there's nothing much you can do to do is we need to take the measurement of the bike uh, as such. we'll just leave the bike as this so it's resting on the wheels and uh, there's a certain distance so in order to get the distance of the suspension and the body we need to choose a mark over here somewhere or you can put a tape over here to get the right measurement so that will be our reference point we'll take it from the wheel nut from here so let's see what is the measurement I'll use this line this line here as the reference point so this is about uh, 31.7 so this is 31.7 centimeters now let's put it on a center stand and see what is the measurement okay now it's on a center stand so the previous measurement we took was uh, 31.7 now this is resting on the sender stand right now let's get the measurement of that from the same way how we did for the uh, with the previous measurement the reference line would be this line so that is 32.7 so that is 32.7 so let's make a note of this so the previous one was 31.7 and this is 32.7 and now what we'll do is we'll take the rider measurement uh, so the rider side so for that what you need to do is sit on your bike Take it off your uh, center stand. Now sit on your bike with your legs on uh, your foot pegs, and then we'll take a measurement. You can use the help of one of your friends, or you can do it by yourself. If there's a wall, you can just uh, put your hand onto your wall and take the measurement. Let's take the measurement how we did it for the other two measurements. So this is going to be the rider sack. So we sit on the bike. Let's see how much the measurement is. So that is. So that is 30.2. Do the math right now. We'll take A, B, C as the calculations. The A would be the distance between the shock absorber when it is put on the stand, on the sender stand. So that'll be A, which is uh, 32.7. And then we'll take the uh, bike, which is uh, kept on the tires, which is put, not put on the stand, which is sitting on the tire as B. That'll be the 31.7 the static sag which is about uh, uh, 3 327 minus 317 which is about 10 mm and then so that will be the static stag and now we'll, let's look at the rider sag the rider sag would be a which is uh, a minus uh, c the measurement the c would be the rider sag which is uh, 30.2 so we'll have to calculate it as a which is 32.7 minus 30.2 which is 327 minus 302 
so that would be the rider sag now the measurements I'll tell you how the measurements should be now the static sag stacks should normally be between 5 10 5. so that should be the normal static sag and the rider sag should normally be between uh, 30 and 45 so that is how your measurement needs to be so right now let's look our static sag uh, seems to be okay which is like 10 mm so that is fine so the rider sag right now we have is about 25 mm now the adequate uh, mm that is required is 30 to 45 in between that would be the right rider sag so our sag the rider sag we'll need to tension it up one step more and then we'll take a one more measurement after that and we'll see how the rider sag would be so in order to do the adjustments what you need to do is basically you have a toolkit that comes with your motorcycle that is inside your uh, battery panel what you need to do is remove your battery panel here and you will have a small box over here this is the small box especially now this is an Avenger 220 cruise once again so we will have to open this toolbox you take this cover off and then you have a toolkit and a first aid kit over here which is provided by the uh, by Bajaj itself by the manufacturer most of the bikes would have this so open your toolbox get your tools out I've never opened this toolbox uh, to increase your tension you know the mm the difference between your suspension and the uh, uh, the frame you have to increase the tension of your uh, shock absorber so there's a clamp I'll show you the clamp you need to put it over here turn it and then the tension would increase so the more that load that you put onto your bike increase the tension the payload the sag of your bike and then your suspension would work perfectly fine and your ride would be much more comfortable so this is how you adjust the uh, adjust the tension of your shock absorber this is how you adjust the sag so put the clamp there now this is the clamp that you see this is the clamp that normally comes with the bike you need to put that on the shock absorbers locks there you can see the lock over there put that and then turn it to left or counterclockwise and then you adjust the sag so increase it or decrease it wherever you want to do depending on the load that your bike is put on so if you have uh, uh, two people on your bike and then you've got more luggage like the panniers the saddle box they put on a lot of weight measure your sag when you're going on a longer trip and then you will have a comfortable ride so always measure the sag and keep your uh, suspension on the right sag so that your suspension would give you longer life the oil seals will not break and you will have a longer uh, you know working suspension so you don't have to spend a lot of money on your suspensions on your shock absorbers and I'll give you, I'll tell you how the shock absorbers work, just that you know how the shock absorbers works. It's, it's got a piston, it's got oil inside your shock absorbers. So the more uh, pressure you put on your shock absorbers, if your sag is not right, the, you will not have enough space between the shock absorber and the frame of your uh, motorcycle. Uh, the distance would be less and at that point you your tire would... Uh, top out the max on your shock absorber so that, that puts your shock absorber in a lot of tension so the 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 piston would squeeze the oil as much as possible and it will hit the bottom up that is when you increase the tension of your shock absorber so you put it on the right tension on on your motorcycle and then your shock absorber would perform very well and your bike would also perform very well on riding so I hope this information is helpful if you guys have any if you guys have any confusions or any more questions, please uh, comment below. So I've adjusted my uh, sag two points, two levels up, so I get the right uh, sag. You guys check your uh, vehicle sag if that is right or wrong or you want to adjust it, please do that. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Thank you so much guys for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe and hit a like. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.